In the following video, we will be exploring the key distinctions between Playkey and ClickUp, including feature breakdown, ease of use, and price. Both ClickUp and Playkey are project and task management tools, but the main distinction between them lies in their most basic functionalities. While ClickUp has limitations on some of the most essential features, Playkey stands out by providing the most necessary functionalities in unlimited quantities for free. This means that unlike Playkey, the ClickUp free plan does not give you the freedom to create as many workspaces as you need, as well as an unlimited number of teams in order to organize your people into separate departments or groups. Playkey in this case presents an excellent option for teams initiating their journey with project management software. Such teams can easily get access to a ton of useful features without having to invest any money at all. Regarding the pricing compared to ClickUp, whose paid plans start at 10 US dollars per user per month, Playkey sets itself apart with its highly competitive pricing and an exceptional feature set, starting at only 499 US dollars per user per month. Or, if you go for the yearly subscription, you'll only pay 399 US dollars per month for Playkey and 7 US dollars per month for ClickUp. Both Playkey Pro and Enterprise plans provide everything available in the free version and additionally come with fewer or no restrictions at all on storage per file, custom fields, and activity log history. Let's see what some of the other differences and similarities of these two project management apps are. One notable difference between Playkey and ClickUp lies in their visual representation and usability. Playkey boasts a sleek and modern appearance, offering a default dark mode that can seamlessly switch to a light version with just a single click. This aesthetic appeal is complemented by a well-thought-out color scheme and color-coded tasks, contributing to an overall user-friendly and intuitive design. Even those new to tools like this will find Playkey easy to navigate and utilize effectively. ClickUp has a lot more features than Playkey, even hidden ones, so the user interface tends to be a bit overwhelming. In contrast, Playkey is a more traditional type of task management tool, with a cleaner layout and easy to manage hierarchy. In contrast to Playkey, where all the essential settings and information are accessible on the left side of the screen, creating a well-balanced interface, the main menu in ClickUp is situated in a relatively small and less noticeable location at the bottom left corner of the screen. Upon visual comparison, it becomes apparent that ClickUp's interface can appear cluttered, especially with the densely populated left side screen area that reveals a lot of information when hovering over its elements. In contrast, Playkey adopts a simpler and cleaner approach, rendering it more user-friendly in that aspect. There aren't a lot of activities happening and everything is nicely ordered into workspaces, folders, and boards. This also stands for the complexity of the hierarchy. ClickUp is much more content-heavy, which can look and feel a bit overwhelming, while Playkey, on the other hand, is simple and well-organized with just the right amount of data shown on the sidebar. Both platform sidebars collapse. Once you close it in ClickUp, it disappears, and you can't see it, while in Playkey there's a consistent navigation bar in the far left side of the screen. Concerning the iconography, Playkey is cleaner, more consistent across the platform, and easier to identify where you can actually interact, whereas ClickUp is known for having a lot of hidden features, which you'll find a bit difficult to trace. Getting up to speed in Playkey is so much easier since there is a better and less complex organization of the key building blocks of the app, whereas in ClickUp, you have a nested hierarchy, as we've said before. Playkey is super easy to sign up, set up, and involve all the members of your team to collaborate from wherever you are. The app is available on both iOS and Android platforms, making task management and collaboration seamless and convenient. The whole purpose of these tools is to make it easier for project managers and their teams to complete their tasks and goals. ClickUp has a complex organizational structure that includes workspaces, spaces, lists, folders and tasks, subtasks, and nested subtasks. Playkey's structure has the following levels, workspace, folders, boards, and tasks. Now, let's go a bit more into detail regarding the features and let's see how they work. Lists in ClickUp are boards in Playkey, so there's a difference in the terminology of the apps. Within boards in Playkey, there are also groups, items and tasks, 
and fields. The type of organization in Plakey is providing the user with a cleaner layout and easy to manage hierarchy. The most basic way to customize your board in Plakey is to change the board view, filter and sort your data, customize fields and create more groups. Both platforms have designated template centers with many board templates and workflows suitable for different teams and industries, in case you don't want to create your board from scratch. Now, let's go a bit more into detail regarding these features and let's see how they work. Plakey and ClickUp have similar features spread across the four main categories, task management, communication and collaboration, progress tracking, and administration. In both Plakey and ClickUp, you can turn your tasks into templates, so you don't need to recreate them from scratch. What is more convenient when creating or editing a task item is that when you open it, it appears on the right sidebar, which is really helpful for users to skillfully move across the app, always knowing where they are. It's easy to add more details in the item card and easily get back to your board. On the other hand, in ClickUp, when clicking on the task, an overlay module appears, covering the whole screen and leaving the user wondering how to go back to the board. You still have context where you are, but it's somehow hidden in very small text up at the top, and it's not very easily discoverable. Both Plakey and ClickUp have further task customizations such as multiple assignees and custom fields such as tags, priorities, number, rich text, and so much more. Tasks can also have watchers in ClickUp or subscribers in Plakey, people who follow the changes made within a specific task. Both platforms come with extensive team collaboration features. In Plakey, as well as in ClickUp, collaboration features allow users to mention individuals or entire teams, add comments, provide feedback, engage in discussions, share files, and receive notifications. Adding messages is an option available on both platforms, with the slight difference of the formatting bar placed at the top in Plakey which is very intuitive and super comfortable for new users. In ClickUp, you need to select this option, which means that it's not visible as a static bar. Regarding files and attachments, it's common for teams to share them directly within the task card. In the case of ClickUp, the free plan imposes a total storage cap of 100 megabytes. In contrast, Plakey takes a different approach by placing a limit of 10 megabytes on the storage per individual file, rather than setting a limit on the overall storage capacity. Like ClickUp, Plakey 2 has a well-designed customizable notification system accessible through the My Profile section in the menu. You can set which notifications you want to receive by bell or by email. One difference between these two apps and the free plan, as we said at the beginning, is that in Plakey, you have the liberty to create as many teams for better organization of team members, while in ClickUp, this feature is only available in the paid plan. You can sort and filter tasks in both ClickUp and Plakey for a better progress overview, as well as search for tasks. Both ClickUp and Plakey offer the versatile Kanban view, allowing you to visualize your boards intuitively. Moreover, you can save an unlimited array of diverse table views tailoring your project management experience to your unique needs. Both apps have a board activity log. It's just that you have to add it as a view in ClickUp, while in Plakey, it's instantly accessible on the top right corner of the screen. Both can be filtered for easy access of data that you can search for. In the free plan on Plakey, the activity history is available for seven days, while in the ClickUp free plan, you can access it only for 24 hours. There are more or less the same permission levels available for members in both apps. In Plakey, as well as in ClickUp, you can set up for the board members to edit everything, edit content, and write updates only. Boards are public by default, but admins, workspace owners, and members with edit permissions can make them private. Just like ClickUp, Plakey has different user roles such as admin, member, and viewer, which help you define the permissions and actions that users can perform within the platform. To see the bigger picture as to why Plakey is the best alternative to ClickUp.com, Check out the link in the description and visit our website.